I told you guys you'd be getting a double upload today. Welcome to the next all-time team build here in MLB The Show 20. This is, of course, the series where we go through all 30 major league teams and build a team in Diamond Dynasty with the best and most influential players from that franchise's history. And since we did a National League team, we did the Colorado Rockies in the last one, we're going back to the AL, and today we have the Chicago White Sox. The Chicago White Sox are one of the older franchises that Major League Baseball has. They go all the way back to 1901, and they've only been known by that name, the White Sox. Their franchise has a career winning percentage of 502 with 10 postseason appearances, six pennants, and three World Series titles. Their most recent World Series win was in 2005 when they beat the Houston Astros in four games, but up until that point, they had not won the World Series since 1917. Now, they've only made the postseason four times in the last 20 years. Granted, like I said, they did win the World Series in 2005, and they made the postseason this year, but before that, they hadn't made it till 2009. But there's a lot to be excited about with the White Sox, a lot of good young talent, and they're still making moves in the offseason to get better. And here you guys go. This is a look at my all-time Chicago White Sox in MLB The Show 20. It's a very interesting team. There's a lot going on. So you've got Yasmani behind the dish. That's easy. Frank Thomas at first base is easy. It always sucks that Paul Canary kind of gets the short end of the stick in these team builds because he's not going to start over Frank, but he was a pretty influential figure in the White Sox history as well. Middle infield is going to be Tim Anderson at second with Louis Aparicio over at short, and I actually moved a mini Minoso over to third base to give myself another option in the outfield. So in the outfield, we've got Eloy, Larry Doby, and Adam Dunn. And on the bench to join Paul Canerco, you got Jim Tomey, Ken Griffey Jr., Jose Abreu, and Louis Bob. All right, so the first thing I got to say when we talk about the pitching with the White Sox is no, I do not have the signature Chris Sale. Unfortunately, I only have the live series. The signature card is really, really difficult to acquire, not because I can't make World Series, just because there's other cards I could take too, and it's like, you know, you're, you're kind of screwed there. But luckily, I wasn't even going to start that Chris Sale. I was actually going to start Mark Burley because I feel like he deserves to start on the all-time White Sox. And in the bullpen, you've got Gossage, Crochet, Rob Dibble, Cody Hoyer. You got Soria, Tyler Clippard, and Keith Folk. So the pitching staff is, it, it doesn't look that bad on paper at all. And I kept it pretty basic for the jerseys. I really like the black tops that they use with the pinstripes on the pants. So these are the jerseys we're going with for the all-time socks. Here we go, boys. 92 Mark Burley versus 99 Jacob deGrom, and he's got pretty much the ultimate god squad. This should be, uh... This should be fun. Also, if you guys enjoy the video, remember to hit the thumbs up button. Remember to subscribe to the channel down below if you're new. We're doing all 30 all-time teams, so you're not gonna want to miss any of these. But let's go ahead and get a dub. Okay, we got him jammed. Mookie's down. Got him down 0-2. I think I'll try to get a cutter on the outside part. Perfect pitch. Perfectly executed. Oh, no. Wow, he missed that? That stayed right over the middle of the trout. That is lucky. Oh, perfect, perfect. With Mini Minoso. Come on. Carry. Get out of here. No. Okay, we're good. That should be a triple. Okay, I was about to say, that's a perfect swing. Let my man Mini live. Right up the middle. It doesn't matter if that was fielded or not. That's an RBI for Larry Doby. Oh my god, that's a perfect slider, man. No, I was right there. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed that without him done. Oh, that I I tried to check my swing, but I guess it didn't want me to. Okay, hey, we scored one. We put up some some good at bats for the most part against Degrom. That's a good start here. All right, I'm gonna try it. I gotta try the curveball here against Cody Bellinger. Lefty, lefty. Woo! It worked. He got on top of it. Get there, Eloy! Come on, Eloy! He makes the play. I wasn't sure there. There we go. Six up, six down for Mark Burley. Three two. He's got to be going to the outlier fastball. And I was right. Dude, if that doesn't leave, I may throw my controller out the window. I was about to say, that's about as perfect of a swing as you can get without it legitimately being perfect. Oh, oh man, we held up. Wow. Oh, my God. That's not going to leave. Oh, dude. Some of these exit velos on these fastballs are questionable. Here we go. Mini Minoso is on the move. And Adam Dunn is going to put one in the gap, and that's going to score Mini Minoso. 
Oh my god, that is a huge swing, bro. I am really liking this offense right now. I'm seeing the ball pretty well off Jacob DeGrom, to be honest. Beautiful cutter. God, dude, I am just dealing with this guy. No, the no-hitter, the perfecto, it's gone. Get there, Dunn. Get there. Oh, Adam Dunn on the run. What a play. <laughs> Let's go, dude. He gets one hit, but Mark Burley answers right back with a couple great pitches, and the dude has a scoreless game going in the fourth. Okay, no matter what, this is going to be Mark Burley's last inning. I know he's pitching really well, but you know, he is 92 Mark Burley. You never know when an opponent has a team like this, when he's actually going to start figuring him out. You know, after a couple more batters, we're going to start the third time through the order. He's seen a lot of pitches against Mark Burley, so I'm going to go ahead and get him out. I'm not going to push my luck with him. And the pitcher spot is coming up in the bottom of the fifth anyway. How? How does he strike out on that? I don't get it. Oh my god. Who needs Chris Sale? Like I said, I'm not going to push my luck. That's going to be all she wrote for Mark Burley here. And it might have worked out. Jim Tomey might have just given us a pinch hit home run. It did. It all worked out. <laughs> Come on, man. Give Minnie some luck. Oh, get going, ball. Get going, ball. Get going. <laughs> wow. You know, for the home runs and, and, you know, good hits I've gotten, I, I've been robbed quite a bit this game, too. There we go. That one's not robbed. That one's a home run. The big hurt, Frank Thomas. Another one on the board. Is that three? Is that three? Three and one inning? What did I say before the Frank Thomas at bat? <laughs> All right, so Mark Burley leaves the game and Cody Hoyer allows a perfect single. <laughs> what are you looking at, Babe Ruth? Don't like this. I don't like this, Cody. Oh, my God. He missed that. What? That could score two. Oh, I had him to two strikes. Dang it, man. That's tough. That's tough. There it is. Got the strikeout. All right, he put up two. That's fine. I'll take that. I'll go ahead and take that. We get the run right back. Thanks, Yasmani. Oh. That's his first home run. Okay. He was all over that. He did not miss that for a second. Oh, my God. Where did this come from? Okay. I mean, that's that's a beautiful pitch. Oh, that's it. I thought that was easily getting caught. I'll take the two out knock. Dude, don't tell me I just went yard with Aparicio. Don't tell me I just went yard with Aparicio. What is happening in this game, bro? We have Mark Burley pitching five shutout innings. And then Aparicio hitting a two-run bomb off 99 Nick Anderson. Like, what? He's got two lefties coming up here, so I'm going to bring in Chris Sale. I didn't even warm him up, but screw it. And I already used, um, what's his name? Garrett Crochet, so this is my only option here at the moment. And we're going to get it. It's going to be a loud out, but it's going to be an out nonetheless. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I love strikeouts looking, dude. I love backward Ks. They're so satisfying when you're on the mound. And that's going to do it, boys. The all-time White Sox is going to take an 8-4 to four victory here in ranked season. Player of the game, we got Grandall. Jim Tomey had the pinch hit home run. You had Aparicio with the late two-run bomb. And, of course, Mark Burley. Five shutout innings in Hall of Fame ranked seasons. That was a bit unexpected. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the all-time White Sox gameplay. If you guys enjoyed it, remember to hit that thumbs up button. You know what to do. Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with the rest of these all-time builds. I hope you guys have a good New Year's Eve. Have fun. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.